So my wife and kids are on vacation this week and it's giving me a chance to do a project that I've been considering doing for a while now. Um, so we want to start leaving our shoes outside before we come in the house. And we really don't have something out there that we can use to put them yet. And so I've been asked to make something to put the shoes in. And uh, so I've been considering kind of what I want to do about that. And there is space outside for it. And um, so it's just a matter of trying to come up with a concept and a design. When um, I was looking at, you know, shoe racks on Pinterest or whatever, it's um, most of them either were the wall kind where the shelf is attached to the wall itself and the sh shoes kind of line up and wedge in there. Or it's just a plain bench with cubby holes underneath it. And so what I wanted to do is kind of combine those two elements into one thing. So you can sit down and put your shoes up on something so you don't have to bend down to uh, put them on. So I'm working on kind of combining those two elements. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet. So it's kind of, I have a general idea of what I want to do to combine those two things. And then I'll go to the store here in a little bit and uh, just think about it as I go through the store. So I know what I need. There's some things I know I need, and then there's some things I'm not sure on yet. And so as I go to the store, sometimes I just get inspired and I figure it out there. So we'll see what happens. So I'm outside of my house. That is the spot where the bench and shoe rack will go. You can see that bench there already, but I really want to keep it the same. The idea that it's the bench and the wall rack on the back of it. I think if it's one piece, you know, I can move it inside to the back wherever, um, wherever I want to. And so I went to the store to buy the supplies and I did come up with an idea. I knew that I wanted that wall rack part of it, but I did not know how I would attach the shoes to the wall rack. And so those are the boards I got. They're just regular two by fours. And um, so what I decided to do, which I hope will work out, you know, this is what I enjoy so much about it is you get an idea and you, I get excited about coming up with an idea, seeing if it will work. And what it does is just extra cool to me. So what I want to do is use a curtain rod that I got at the store and then use this chain and these hooks here to attach it to the back. And so what I hope will work is that the wall will, the chain and the rod will keep the shoes to the two, uh, two by four so I'll have behind it. And uh, that way the back is completely open. The shoes, the bottom of the shoe will rest against the board and then the rod will hopefully keep the shoe close to the board when the rod is on the other side of the shoe. And so I hope this idea works out. And um, so here goes nothing. So what I wanna do before I start is actually draw out what I plan to do. Oftentimes I'll kind of describe what I plan to do to my wife and she often doesn't, can't picture it until it's visually in front of her, which many people are visual learners, right? Not auditory. So this is really just to explain what I want to do. And uh, so you can get a visual look at it before I actually make it. So you have your back pieces, right? The two by four in the back is gonna be the tallest section. I'm thinking it's gonna be four feet about that way you have enough clearance 
to, um, you know, have the shoes high enough so you can reach them. And then across, you know, you're gonna have the base. And I think across, I'm gonna keep it three feet. Not super long, just enough to sit there and enough space so you can put more shoes if you need them. So then you're gonna have your seat. I'm just using the blue line as the second one because I can't draw straight lines. So that's the seat part. And then you'll have your two, you know, two by fours going across for the wall part of it. And uh, so you can visualize seeing it. This is a two by four, this is a two by four, and this is the seat part going across. And this is the base where you can put the bigger boots and stuff. So that's generally what my idea is in terms of what it will look like visually looking at it. <clears throat> and then this will be kind of the concept of how it would look from the side. Okay, so you have it going down again, then across, then up, th and that's a two by four, right? So it's coming back down. Oh, I messed it up. Uh, that's okay. And then straight up again, right? So these are two by fours. And then that's the, <clears throat> the front part of the bench, right? And then there's going to be one underneath here that will go across for the seat and the slats. And so what I want to do is this two by four will be tall enough to where these slats going across will fit there just like that going across. And um, so you have that space there, right? So um, these will be, you know, quarter inch apart probably so water can go underneath. But anyway, that's the concept, right? So this is the base part again. It's gonna go lengthwise, and then the slats will kind of just fit right in there, and it will look like that, more or less. So hopefully that made sense, and uh, we'll get started. So I cut out the slats for the seat, pretty simple. Again, they're three feet across. And width-wise, altogether, they're a little less than 14 and a half inches. So I'm just going to keep it at 14 and a half. That way, there's some room for them to adjust once they're put on the frame. So I cut all the pieces out. So from left to right, looking at it, the four. The first four are for the frame. So the bottom and the frame for the seat. The two are for the front part of the bench, looking at it. The other two, I said I would cut them to four feet. My instincts are telling me that that would be not enough length to do the chain like I wanted it, so I made it five feet instead, just to cover myself in case I had to do that over again. I'd rather cut it big and just instead of deal with it later and uh, you know have to buy another board so and the last two will be for the one across for the two back uh, pieces so i wanted to pause and show you what i've made so far um, this is basically the bench part of it so you can see how it looks like a six where the front piece goes down goes to the back and then the tall piece in the back. And so the slats again are supported by that one underneath them. And then they just go straight across and match up with the front piece. Um, so it's pretty much how I imagined it turning out. Um, next I'll add thinner slats underneath just to a place to put the shoes. And then I'll finish the back part. And hopefully that turns out the way I hope it will can see I added the smaller slats underneath it and I just spaced them apart evenly and then I attached these eye hook screws where the chain will come down and then I'll attach the curtain rod to the chains so they work um, I ended up using just a regular half inch dowel rod 
And the reason being is I think it will hold the shoes better with the wood instead of the curtain rod. And the curtain rod wasn't the same width all the way across. Um, one side was a little thinner than the other. So, but I'm happy with how they turned out. It worked like I hope it would. So uh, the last step will be staining and then it will be done. So it's all done. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. If you would like to leave a comment and let me know what you think, please do so. I hope you enjoyed it.